Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm here today for a new painting video. This is an old painting of Jungkook from BTS. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in having real-time videos. It's very very long, so I'm not sure that it is very interesting for everybody but uh, I think that it can be helpful for some of you who want to learn more about how to paint with oils. So leave me a message and I will make sure to put real-time videos if you would like. I already painted the background with a wash of raw amber. It helps me to evaluate the colors and the saturation and the intensity a little bit better because when you paint on a white surface every color on top of it looks very very dark so it is very helpful to have a little stain so that it's easier to have accurate values in a painting the value is how light or dark is a color I like to paint the eyes first, but I also like to paint the hair because again it helps me to evaluate the values and so I can understand what is surrounding those dark values a little bit better. I have a very simple process. I always start by the eyes because it gives me a nice frame and also some life to the painting. And then I continue with the nose, uh, which is one of the most difficult part, and the lips, and the rest is much easier afterwards. Doing the hair first, I'm not sure that it was especially a good idea. On the right side of the face, you can see it's pretty difficult to put the skin and the hair and the details of the eyes at the same time. You can see that the cheeks have lots of hues. We have some purples, we have some blue, and sometimes you can even have green. And uh, all those colors together, it creates a much more natural looking skin. During the first step of the painting, I like to place the colors very loosely and come back later to refine the details. For the chin, I'm placing the darkest value and I like to work on the outline also of the chin because um, it's something that can really transform the whole face. You want to make sure to look at the reference all the time so that uh, the placement is really accurate. Ideally, you want to make sure that you have the reference picture that has the same size as the painting that you want to paint. So that the task is much more easier and you don't have some mental exercise to try to scale the painting that is different from the reference. And some more details on the lips and the teeth. Now I'm starting with the neck. You can see we have lots of different hues, some blue, some orange, some purple, some pink. And all the colors help to have a more natural looking skin. And in this case also we have some ambient lighting. I try to paint loosely at this point because uh, you know I only want to place the right values at the right place. And then I will come back to correct and put more details. And also you can be a little bit looser on the neck because this is not the main feature of the portrait. At least this is something that I tell myself because uh, I don't want to spend too much time on an area that I don't like to paint. Now this is the moment where I like to soften the edges. I spend some time to correct every placement that are not accurate and I put some highlights and some shadows at the same time. 
One thing that you should do at the beginning of the painting is painting the background because again it helps to evaluate the contrast and the values much better. Especially if you don't have trained eyes. So now more details and more correction onto the nose and I'm doing the hair which is such a pain because um, yeah, you can see it's uh, not that easy to paint in between the lines. Now I'm adding some details onto the eyes and I'm smoothing the edges again. Because in real life you don't have a very defined edges on the face. And I'm doing a second pass on all the features of the face where I smoothen and put some adjustments so that it looks more realistic. The teeth that I painted are not the best, but uh, I like the lips. Here are some details of the earrings and I'm doing it very very quickly because uh, the main focus again is on the face and not on the rest of the portrait. And now I'm adding some details onto the air, some highlights and some shadows. And I'm spending more time to smoothen all these edges and add all the details that I can at the end of the process. And now this is the glazing part where I put a very very fine layer of painting and oil to create a much warmer look. At the end of the process I like to do that so that it gives more life to the painting. And it also allows me to correct the colors, the hue and the values again. So this is the finished painting and I hope you will enjoy and please let me know if you would be interested in having a real-time video next. See you later!